Hi, my name is AJ Conway. I use they, them pronouns, and I am a professional that works in the diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging space. And I work with CCS Learning Academy to deliver diversity trainings to a wide variety of organizations all over the country. So in this particular video, I'm gonna walk you through a training that we offer as part of our DEI and B workshop series, our diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging workshop series. And so I will walk through a PowerPoint example and some topics that we could talk about in this particular topic that we're going to talk about today, which is understanding privilege. And so as we think about the idea of privilege, um, it's one of those things that I think gets a pretty bad reputation a lot of times. And the word privilege can be a really hot button issue for a lot of people. And so I find that this training in particular can be really helpful for organizations, especially as you start to think about practical application strategies that can help your organization really move the needle in the diversity space, understanding a really challenging concept like privilege and how to use privilege effectively within your organization can be a really great topic. I would recommend this as a topic for organizations that have already done some diversity work. So um, this is part of a DEIMB training workshop series. And so if you've already done some of the intro level and foundational trainings, this is a great next sort of intermediate level training. If, or if your organization has engaged in other types of diversity activities with other companies, companies outside of CCS Learning Academy or other consultants outside of myself, then this could be a great next step for you. Um, but it is definitely one of those more challenging topics, and it really pushes people to think critically about the idea of privilege. Um, it really helps move the needle, like I said, but it's one of those ones that we want to wait to we're at the intermediate level of your organization before we tackle it. And so the great thing about the, the DEIMB trainings that we offer through CCS Learning Academy is that we have prepared curriculum, uh, but all of our DEIMB trainings are really customized and tailored to the needs of your organization. So it, no matter where you are sort of on that diversity journey for your organization, we want to meet your employees where they are. We want to meet your organization where you are. And our goal is to build those customized trainings that are driven by data, driven by results, to make sure that we're giving you the best possible diversity trainings that we can and the best trainings that are going to help your organization meet the specific needs that you're trying to achieve. And so a little bit more about me. Uh, so I am a diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging professional. I've been in the business for about 10 years, uh, and I I am part of several different national diversity organizations, and I have a few diversity certifications, and I've been doing trainings and consultations for organizations, again, all over the country, and working with CCS Learning Academy to work with organizations to help them further their DEI and B initiatives in various ways. Um, training is a big piece of, of what we do to try to help move the needle for organizations. And so this particular video is about one of the DEI and B offerings that we have, which is about understanding privilege. Now, like I said, privilege can be one of those really hot button topics. So some of you might have looked at the topic of this video and right away you're like, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if we should tackle the privilege conversation. I'm telling you it's worth tackling it. Again, it's maybe a little bit more of an intermediate level for the organization, but this can be a really, really good critical moment to have these conversations and really help people turn that corner from the foundational knowledge into some of these more challenging challenging topics that really push people to think critically and really push people to take action and think about how to practically apply this information. So as we think about the idea of understanding privilege, just like all of our DEI and B trainings that we offer through CCS Learning Academy, it's all rooted in a DEI and B framework. So diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Diversity is valuing and recognizing our differences. Equity is creating fair, equal access and uh, equitable access to opportunities and resources and support services. Inclusion is having a seat at the table, but belonging is making sure that when you're at that table, you feel heard and you feel valued and you feel like you're an important contributing member of your organization. Cultivating that really strong sense of belonging for your employees and potentially your clients, your customers, your consumers, that really strong sense of belonging is really critical in the DEIMB space. 
And all of the different trainings that we offer, including this one on understanding privilege, is really about how do we use privilege to help people cultivate that really strong sense of belonging within our organization. Because we need D, E, and I, diversity, equity, and inclusion, in order for belonging to be successful. But if we only have D, E, and I, and we haven't taken it that next step to belonging, then we're not doing DEI, DEI and B the right way. And so really having these critical conversations around challenging topics like privilege helps us push that boundary past DEI into that belonging space and really helps us focus there on cultivating that strong sense of belonging. So the training would start with this DEI and B framework, really unpack those four concepts and make sure people understand what that looks like. And then how do we use privilege then to cultivate that strong sense of belonging, which is our ultimate goal in this framework. Now, just like with a lot of our other trainings, as we think about the idea of privilege, again, we're going to unpack a lot of things about privilege. But one of the things about privilege um, that I hear the most often is a lot of times people are thinking very narrowly about the idea of privilege. In our society, a lot of times the only type of privilege that we really hear about is white privilege or maybe male privilege sometimes, or even white male privilege. Those are not the only types of privilege that exist. Yes, of course, white privilege is a thing. Yes, of course, male privilege is a thing, but there is privilege in every aspect of diversity and there is disadvantage in a lot of aspects of diversity. And so really unpacking this broad idea of diversity is a great place that we would start in this type of training to make sure that people understand that as we tackle this idea of privilege, that we're not just talking about the classic forms of privilege that you've been hearing about all the time. We're going to be talking about privilege in all of these different types of identity categories and all of these different aspects of diversity. And so then we would then unpack some of those misconceptions, right? So privilege, again, is a really hot button issue. It has a lot of really negative connotations for people. And there's just a lot of misconceptions around privilege. And so really taking some time to unpack those pieces and make sure people don't just completely shut down at the beginning of the conversation, that's a big piece of what we would do in the beginning of a training like this. And then it's about talking about what privilege is not. Privilege does not mean that you've never had to work hard. Privilege does not mean that you've had an easy life and that everything in the world has been handed to you and you've never had to struggle or deal with anything difficult. That is not what privilege means. That's a lot of times what people tell you privilege means, but that's not what we're talking about when we talk about privilege. So a big piece of unpacking all of those misconceptions is really focusing on these pieces that this is not what privilege actually is. But then again, what is privilege, right? So not only what is it not, but then the training would focus on, okay, well, what is it? It doesn't mean that you've never worked hard. It doesn't mean that you've never had to struggle, but it means that sometimes there are things that you may never have to think about just because of who you are or how you walk through the world, right? And so really thinking about what privilege actually is, and again, in that broad sense of diversity, right? Thinking about all of those different aspects of identity, that's a big piece of how this training would start is really making sure that we we understand how privilege manifests. And with that, we'd look at so many different types of privilege. So class and economic privilege, race, ethnicity, culture privilege, right? That was a, a very popular one, right? That's where like white privilege comes into play. Um, but also, you know, cultural privilege can be, you know, people who were born here in the United States versus people who are born outside the United States, right? Um, ethnicity can be heritage and background and, you know, uh, where your family's from. And so privilege, again, is it, it's multifaceted and there's so many different types of privilege that we could look at here. Sexuality privilege, um, cisgender privilege. So cisgender is a term I think that is becoming more popular, but a lot of people don't know what that word means. And so um, when we talk about transgender people, people who are not transgender are cisgender. And so, you know, if you're not a transgender person, what is the privilege that comes with that? Um, sexuality, talking about LGBTQ plus issues. Um, there's still a lot of states in this country where you can be fired from your job for being LGBTQ plus. Why would you ever even have to worry about that if that's not how you identify? That means that you have sexuality privilege, right? So really just starting to think through these different pieces of things that we may never even have thought about before, because that's what privilege is. Privilege is just saying you may not ever have to think about it because it never impacts you. So really starting to think about that. So that's four different categories. And we would even keep going. <laughs> Citizenship privilege, ability privilege, male privilege, masculine privilege linguistic privilege, right? The language that you speak. And if that matches the dominant language that we speak here in the United States, right? If English is your primary language 
and everything around you in English is written in English, that's privilege, right? So really thinking about all of the different ways that privilege manifests in our life, getting rid of those misconceptions and negative connotations around privilege and understanding that when someone says you have privilege, that that's not a bad thing. That's not an insult. It's just saying that privilege exists and privilege is going to be different and situational depending on how we interact in different situations. And so a big piece about what we try to accomplish in these DEI and B trainings is not only helping you understand, well, what is privilege, but okay, now how do I use my privilege, right? So uh, a lot of these trainings, again, very practical application focused. I want you to know what the words mean, but I want you to know what to do with the information too. So a lot of the training would then talk about how we use our privilege to promote inclusion and belonging. So especially in spaces where somebody may not have the same privileges that we do, how do we help use our privilege in that situation to make sure that we're creating access and opportunities for other people? That's really where that DEI and B framework comes in, where we're using our privilege to help cultivate a strong sense of belonging for all of the people around us, right? And so using our privilege, especially in leadership roles and things like that can really help. And then using our privilege just in day-to-day -day interactions. A good example I like to give during trainings uh, is when the, uh, the ADA buttons, you know, the little buttons that you push that automatically open doors. I push those a lot because I like that it opens the doors for me, but there are people who really rely on those buttons to function properly in order to even just be able to enter a building for the day and, and go about their daily lives. So if I'm walking around my workplace at one point and I hit a button and it doesn't work properly, that doesn't necessarily impact me. I could just open the door if I need to, but I'm going to make sure I call and I'm going to try to get that fixed because I know the people who work in my facilities department and I know who I can call to get that fixed. So I'm going to use my privilege in that situation, even though that broken button isn't going to make my life any harder. I know that that broken button is going to make someone else's life harder. And so I'm going to use my privilege in that situation to make that phone call, to call the people that I know and to have them come out and fix that button so that people aren't disadvantaged in that way. Really simple examples, right? Really classic everyday examples of how we can use our privilege to help cultivate that sense of belonging and really look out for one another within our workplace.